The Sambard Kingdom Brunel was an English mechanical and civil engineer who is considered one of the most ingenious and prolific figures in engineering history. One of the 19th century engineering giants. One of the greatest figures of the Industrial Revolution changed the face of the English landscape with his groundbreaking designs and constructions. Brunel built dockyards, the Great Western Railway, a series of steamships including the first propeller-driven transatlantic steamship, and numerous important bridges and tunnels. His designs revolutionized public transport and modern engineering. The Sambard Kingdom Brunel was born in Portsmouth and baptized on 11 April 1806 at St. Mary, Portsia, a parish in Portsmouth. He was the eldest of Marcus Sambard Brunel and Sophia Kingdom's three children. Brunel's father, Marcus Sambard Brunel, was a French-born engineer who had settled in England in 1799 after escaping the turmoil of the French Revolution. Marcus Sambard Brunel developed the technique of tunneling under rivers using the Brunel Shield, a new method for tunneling through soft ground that was quicker and more cost-effective than other methods. His mother was the daughter of an English naval captain. In 1814, the family moved to London, where Brunel attended a private school in Fulham. In 1823, he began an apprenticeship at his father's engineering workshop, the Thames Tunnel Company, where he learned the basics of tunneling and construction. Brunel was fascinated by machinery, and he soon became involved in the design and construction of a series of groundbreaking new projects. In 1829, Brunel was appointed chief engineer of the Thames Tunnel Company. The Thames Tunnel was the first tunnel to be built under a river. It was also the longest tunnel in the world at the time, and the first to use the Brunel Shield. The project was extremely difficult and dangerous, and Brunel was nearly killed when a tunnel collapse crushed his legs. Despite these difficulties, the Thames Tunnel was a huge success, and it was open to the public in 1843. Brunel's next project was the construction of the Great Western Railway. The Great Western Railway was a hugely ambitious project to build a railway from London to Bristol. Brunel was appointed chief engineer of the project in 1833. The railway was completed in 1841, and it was an immediate success. The Great Western Railway was the first railway in the world to use Brunel's innovative broad gauge track, and it quickly became one of the busiest railways in the world. Brunel's next project was the construction of a series of steamships, including the Great Western, the first propeller-driven transatlantic steamship. The Great Western was an enormous ship, measuring over 400 feet in length. It was designed to carry passengers and cargo between England and America. The Great Western was a huge success, and it made transatlantic travel much faster and easier. Brunel's final major project was the construction of the Clifton Suspension Bridge. The Clifton Suspension Bridge was designed to span the River Avon in Bristol. It was the longest suspension bridge in the world at the time, and it was also the first bridge to be built with Brunel's innovative tubular steel cables. The Clifton Suspension Bridge was opened to the public in 1864, after Brunel's death, and it is still in use today. A heavy smoker as well as suffering chronic kidney disease, Brunel suffered a stroke just before his new flagship steamer, the Great Eastern, launched on its maiden voyage to New York. He died a few days later, on September 15, 1859, and was buried in Kensal Green Cemetery, London. Brunel was a hugely successful engineer, and his innovative designs and constructions changed the face of the English landscape. He is considered one of the most important engineers of the Industrial Revolution, and his legacy continues to this day. That's it for today. If you liked this episode, hit the like button and share the episode with friends and family who might like this type of content. Subscribe to the channel, and if you feel like it, leave a comment or an opinion. Thank you, and catch you on the next one. Goodbye.